Hey guys, um, if you guys just want to skip to the video, uh, just skip to this time frame right here. Um, I just wanted to talk about something really quickly. As you guys know, I haven't been able to upload in a long time, and that's really made me pretty sad, because I honestly love content creating so much, and uh, I'm going to go more in depth in this in another video that I'm going to upload, which will be my final video until I'm able to get a laptop. You see this video I'm about to show you right now, I edited it like months ago I haven't been able to upload because I needed to like do a voiceover but I wasn't gonna, I wasn't able to because this new phone I have does not work anymore like I, like it works but it does not let me edit anymore and so I'm not able to upload anymore so I started to go fund me and hopefully I'm able to get enough to get a laptop because I really like doing this and so that's where you guys come in now of course like if you guys don't want to donate that's fine Sharing it would be great. That's like that. That make me happy. This is a lot for me to ask from you guys, because you know I don't really want to do this. But like, I've just been driving myself insane not being able to upload, and it makes me so sad. Anyways, the point is I'm gonna get into this more in detail in the next video. But uh, enjoy. I know I didn't make much sense here, um. But links in the description below. Hello, everybody. My name is Yagron, if you guys want more of this, make sure you subscribe for part 3. But let's get started with Zodiac Signs for your- Um, I mean, what your Dragon Ball Fighter Z main says about you. And to start off the video, number 1 has to be Bardock, the low class Saiyan who always has something to prove. In the face of immense danger, just like his son and his grandson, he never gives up. I mean, Gohan, I'm the point is, if you were choosing this guy, you probably like, you know, a strong, sturdy character. And then, like, even when he gets nerfed and everything, he still stays pretty strong. Yeah, you might get bullied by your friends or something for choosing a character that only mashes square. But, you know, you don't have to do that. Because that's just a stereotype, and just like every character in this game, there's always something special about them. Now, I'm definitely not just defending this character because I play him all the time. But, number two. Super Saiyan Goku. Now Goku, just like his player, he's pretty bland, you know, just bread and water for lunch, breakfast, dinner. You're too scared to put salt on your food because that's just a little too spicy for you. So uh, don't bring any food if you ever come to my household or anything. If you show up with food looking like this, yeah, you're probably going to get crucified or murdered. But back on topic, uh, Goku, yeah, he's a pretty safe character, a safe bet, a lot of damage. Uh, you know, if you if you choose this character, you're probably somebody who like likes to play it safe, you know, likes to uh, have old reliable on their corner. If you're someone who's been playing him since the very beginning, you've been with them through thick and thin, you're a pretty trustworthy guy. Like uh, Jotaro would say, you're a pretty reliable man. I heard something like that. I forgot how it went. Either way. Number three. Broly! If you choose this absolute maniac, or I'm sorry, I sound like this, man. If you choose this absolute maniac, you're probably a, you know, a maniac yourself. Like the Kid Boot players, you want to see the world burn. Is that okay? Not really, but you know, you do you, King. Or, you know, uh, Queen, too. I'd, uh, I don't want to, like, exclude a whole demographic. If you choose this character, you can keep your whole stank-ass, musty-ass, uh, ugly bone, chicken bone, I don't, I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Uh, you can keep yourself home, and don't get your uh, grubby little arms near me. I'm not trying to get grabbed anymore. I have too much. Too and much. yeah, I, I know you're watching this video, the specific guy I'm talking about. Yeah, uh, you've been asking me to upload, so here it is. Uh, you screw your character, I hate him so much. Number four, Piccolo. If you choose this character, I have nothing but respect for you. Unless you play him with Broly and Super Saiyan Blue Goku, then uh, you can go burn with uh, the Kid Buu players. If you play Piccolo, you're pretty confident in your abilities, and I am certifiedly scared of you. Cer certifiedly? I don't think that's a word. I am scared of you, because it, Piccolo is such a good character, like, his abilities are so strong, and the fact that you're able to, like, deal with all of his walkiness is just phenomenal, and I, uh, applaud you. That being said, if you play Piccolo, and, uh, you see me online, uh, just already know that I'm already in the middle of shitting my pants. <laughs> it's enough said. Oh shoot, kinda close, kinda close, um, what is this, number five? Number five, uh, Baby. If you play Baby, uh, the X button on your controller just like the Freezer players, except the circle for the Freezer players. By the way, if you haven't seen my last video, go check it out definitely because it's, it's great. Uh, if you, you're, I want to see your X button because your X button is probably all uh, riggedy and looks ugly and you know old. Surprise, it still works. But uh, that being said, like uh, the loops with this character, insanely easy to do and it's uh, for, it's so satisfying to do. Um, but this character, he's actually like really fun. If you play this guy, uh, you're probably evil. You probably want to uh, 
take all the food from the grocery stores and just like not even eat it, just like store it away so nobody else can have it. And you're a firm believer in uh, reject modernity, return to monkey, and uh, that's great. Numero seis, Janemba. If you play Janemba and uh, you know how to do the Hellgate combos, uh, just like slide into my DMs. That's kind of hot. I'm already kind of like. Uh, <clears throat> Never mind that. Uh, yeah, <laughs> this character, he's insanely fun to do. So little damage, but like, his combos are so entertaining and like, so fun to do as well. And like, his Hellgate combos, like I was talking about, like that, those, I don't know why. They look like they take more skill than they actually do. I wouldn't know, because, uh, you know, I don't play Janemba, but they just look amazing. He's probably like the coolest kid in school, honestly. And out of all those characters, like, you know, really evil and stuff, he's probably, like, you're probably, like, one of the nicest dudes ever. I really need to put more time on each character because 40 seconds is not enough. Um, anyways, number 7, and you're 21. If you play this character, uh, you're probably me. You know, cool, awesome, uh, everybody likes you, and, uh, literally easily the best character, as best player in your friend group and stuff. Either that, or you probably, uh, need to go to Horny Joe because, uh, bonk, you're really horny, you know, mom. Mom, 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 mom. I mean, 21. She's a very nice looking character. Very, um, <clears throat> good, good assets and ass assists and moves. Very good moves. She's very fun to do. I mean, play. Yeah. I'm not horny. Uh, you're, you're horny. But I don't blame you either. And I am struggling getting through this part. Point is, learning how to use her, like, grab moves and stuff, very hard. I, I applaud you. Number eight. Milf, I'm 18, Mil, 18, Android 18. Now, 18 in this game, she's like what people call a public character. Now, public characters, people don't really like that much because uh, they're, I don't know why, but in this character, I don't, I don't like to either. But in this game, uh, Android 18 is a public character, but a really enjoyable one. Um, her moves, setups, command grabs, like her combos are all really satisfying to do. Uh, and she's not, so that's an added bonus. Now, if you're here really telling me that you didn't pick up Android 18, well, a main reason you didn't pick up Android 18 was because she's hot, then you're wrong, because everybody did. Me included. Yeah, if you play this character, you're probably really into family, you know, like, you're really a cool person. Interesting person, too, because, uh, you true, you're a man of culture, that is. Yeah. Don't really got more to say, so I'm just gonna wait until the next character. Last, but certainly not least, Hito-sama. If you play it, you're cool. You're, you're just cool. And if you're really good with it, like a raptor is, then you're basically an anime protagonist. This character is so weird, so like unorthodox, and so grounded. Like, he seems like a really low or high risk, low reward type of character. And medium reward, because like his damage is really good. But like, he has nothing in this air at all. It's really weird. His combos, though, are really cool. Makes you extremely drippy. And like, you know, if you win with this character, you're like the coolest dude in school. Yeah. You're literally out here battling against the Janemba players on who's the coolest dude in school. And that's an anime fight everybody wants to see. Not hit and hit him, more like you and that guy. I don't know what I'm saying. If you pick this guy up, like, you know, he's probably not gonna get any time any better anytime soon, but he is still a really good character and extremely fun, so you're probably not gonna chop him anytime soon. And we made it to the end of the video. It was so fun to make. Hit the like button, subscribe, all that good stuff. And if you guys could really check out that GoFundMe, you guys don't have to donate or anything, just share it around. I'd really appreciate it.